What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. I'm pretty excited. We got one, two, and three Kaisers to take a look at today. So without further ado, let's head to the top down. We got three Kaisers in. This is gonna be the K, the Dogfish, and the Sparrow that we're gonna be taking a look at today. Uh, if you haven't, feel free to subscribe to our channel below. We love all the support that we can get from the community. And you can head over to Instagram and follow us at WorkKnifeBalance939. That's a great way to communicate with us. Let us know what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see. I'm gonna stack these over to this side and we will go ahead and start with the K. We're gonna try and make this kind of a fast video just to do the unboxing first impressions on these three knives. And then we will go from there. Ooh, that is smooth. Smooth. Uh, we'll go from there and do an individual video with all of them probably in a couple days um, that I'll get to recording those after I've had them for a little bit. So first off, we've got the Kaiser K uh, button deployment. That's pretty nice. Not too bad. Thumb studs and a front flipper. So you've got three deployment methods. This definitely falls into that deployosaurus. It's not necessarily wanting to deploy 100% on all methods quite equally and the same. So um, it could be just need some oil. Um, this has been passed around through the lefty EDC pass around group. But first impressions, I think it looks cool. I really like the way it looks. I'm kind of immediately feeling this little lanyard clip in my in the palm of my hand there as it comes through. And I don't necessarily love that. Um, it is I think a, like a black canvas micarta is what it kind of looks like. And so I'll have to double check. I don't think it says on the box anywhere. No. So it just says black micarta. Um, so yeah, so I, I believe it's, it's very smooth. It feels nice. Um, I like that, but uh, it is, this is this is annoying. This is definitely annoying me right off the bat. I don't necessarily love that. Love the blade shape. Think that's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of like a long drawn out bayonet or something like that. Especially because it's a very long and straight knife altogether. You got kind of the fish hook choil and then copied through with kind of a fish hook kind of index finger anchoring spot, which looks cool, but it doesn't necessarily feel the most comfortable either. So. I would say this is definitely a cool looking knife, but uh, it had, doesn't have the most comfort to it right off the bat, um, at least as, as I'm going through it. And I really like knives like this with kind of hard angles and everything coming around. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this one as I carry it around a little bit more. We'll give you some honest impressions here in a couple days, but right off the bat, it uh, looks awesome. And I like that it is a fidget monster. It is definitely something with the thumb studs, the low profile flipper in the top there, and the front flip that you could have fun with almost all day. Yeah, that's definitely something that's gonna be kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and set this one to the side real quick, set it up top, and we'll go to the next one. This is the dogfish. And I am, I saw pictures of this one online. I'm really excited to look at this one because I think this one is going to be my favorite of the three here. It is, um, ooh, it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. This one was 154 CM too. It's, it showed it right up there. I saw it. I don't know if I showed y'all, so we'll show you again. So the Kuh is 154 CM with that black micarta. So yeah, setting the dogfish box to the side and oh yeah. Okay. This action is way better. Yeah. The dogfish, I don't know if it's just this design and the, oh, I can get my, can't necessarily get myself just the way I'm holding it. Gotta, there we go. Just because it comes in and my, my, my meaty pad comes over, I gotta be careful on that reverse knuckle flick like that for the front flip, for the top flip. But you can do this all day, which is nice and easy. And that low profile flips out there nice and easy as well. So I think the detent on this dogfish is just a little bit snappier for sure. This one reminds me a lot of my Cormorant. I'm gonna say it's it's got the reverse flick method through that hole right there. It's got the front flip up top, top flip, and then it's got the low profile on the back. This one reminds me of my Cormorant. And Kaiser kind of went through a phase of giving you Deployosaurus knives that could do everything. And 
I don't 100% know when these were designed. And so with that, this, these could have been designed during that phase as well. So yeah, I do really, really, really love the milling on this. It has that kind of ripple milling from the pivot all the way down. And that's showing me that it's ambidextrous with a kind of hidden filler tab for that pocket clip, which is pretty cool. Another gonna be kind of in the budget category, 154 cm, we can see that up there. And then I'm assuming these are aluminum scales uh, with that being 154 cm. So this is pretty sweet. I definitely dig that for sure. I'm wondering if there are other colors. If there are, you could do some pretty cool customization if you get a couple of them and mix and match things together. But the black and green is pretty solid, a good to go. And I really like this blade. It is that drop point with kind of the long drawn out harpoon, kind of that, that thumb ramp right there coming down. And I like that a lot. It is, it just looks good. It also feels really good in your hand. You can choke up nice and easy. Yeah, I think this is gonna be my favorite for sure. But so far we got two 154 CM kind of budget category. I don't know prices. I will put links down below. I'm gonna assume this one's gonna be 100-ish, under 150, probably less than. Um, this one's probably in that 120 to 150 range as well. Uh, but you never know, I could be way off on this. I could be, I hope I'm not, but I could be. Next, we're moving into one of the Kaiser coffins and right off the bat, you know it's gonna be a more premium knife because of that. Just the better presentation, the better box coming through that. This is the Kaiser Sparrow has a nice little Velcro case to go with it as well. And you get yourself a second clip, probably for the left carry, I'm assuming. Yep, because it looks like it's got a little bit of a bend in it. Let's get this out of here. You're out of here. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> this is the Kaiser Sparrow, and I like this a lot. Dang, titanium S35. Yeah, titanium and S35. This is a beautiful knife. Feels good, looks good. Oh man, listen to that sound too. That thing sounds really, really good. I like that a lot. You've got the kind of matte finish. I don't know if it's a, a bead blast, a sand blast, or Sometimes I've seen these matte finish and then they call it an orange peel, which I don't necessarily agree with. I think an orange peel is more something like this that has like actual visual texturing to it as well. It looks, it looks like an orange peel. Um, this is just kind of like a matte blast to it. So um, yeah, Kaiser Sparrow really, that's kind of a really cool modified sheep's foot blade to it right there. Not a Deployosaurus, you got the reverse flick, you could probably thumb flick off of that hole right there too, and you've got the back flipper tab that you could button push or light switch as well. And uh, that detent is a medium to good detent, but did you see that action? I mean, oh, that is mechanical. That is beautiful. There's almost no shake needed at the, net, at the end there. It just kinda, ooh. Depends on when you pull it through. It's, oh yeah, that's really nice. The one thing I will say about these matte finishes though, is I'm already looking at it and you can see, there is little spots there, little spots there, little spots there, snail trail there, flipping it over, there's another little spot there. Yeah, if, you, if you're looking for a knife to stay pristine, don't get this matte finish, not at all. They show everything. And with that in mind, I would get this as kind of like a heavy user for a battle-worn knife. This is, this is beautiful. This is probably closer to the 200 mark for sure, if not above, probably above. But I will say that this thing is definitely worth it. You've got this really cool angle to see if I can get the lights to kind of up. So it's, I'm assuming that's kind of like the start of the contour down on either side. But the fact that it's got this bend through it as well, it feels nice, it looks nice, kind of, yeah, that's a really, that's a really cool design. That's also probably why they gave you the secondary clip, because the clip's got a little bit of a bend in it, like that, so this one probably bends 
that way with that line as well because you got the line on the back side. So instead of it bending in, which would then bend it that way, it has a second clip that bends to go with it like that as well. So yeah, this is, uh, this might take the cake. I don't have much else to say about these three with the first impressions. We will go ahead and make a video on all of these as well later this week and get those posted for you. Until next time, that is the Kaiser Kuh, the Kaiser Sparrow, and the Kaiser Dogfish. I'm loving them so far. The Sparrow is probably my favorite, Dogfish second, and the Kuh is the third choice out of these three right here. But until next time, TTFN.